In this video, we will add a package disco OAuth that will allow us to make the foundation for allowing the user to log in, which is very fundamental, and we'll separate these files here, the routes, into separate files like this and we'll basically lay the foundation for our login system. This is the first part out of three videos about OAuth and we'll explain what Discord OAuth 2 is and how it works. Let's get started. So we left off with an empty canvas really. So we left off with commands adding all this. What now? Well, we've added all of this. What should we do now? Wow, we have login here. We, we, how, how do we do? What's the purpose of this dashboard? Wow. We want to edit the guild config ultimately. That's the ultimate purpose. Okay, so let's just log in, see what happens. Boom. Huh? Cannot get login. Why not? Because we look here, just, you should not have pug tags with multiple attributes. Hold on. I might mess something up. Let's see, mix-ins, what have I done? Oh, I've done this. Ha! <laughs> That's a noob mistake. Let's fix that. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, but there we go. We don't want multiple attribute um, declarations here, we just want one. So now, that should be good. So, what are we doing? So in config, we're gonna get here in a minute. We're gonna add secret now. We'll get to secret in a minute. We'll talk about it. But, we're gonna add secret like token, but now we have like two similar things. So token and secret are connected. What do we do? We add an object called bot. Bing and Bing. I'm gonna update that in README. So we're we're gonna have bot token here. Obviously, this is invalid in a way. This will be completely different. And then we add the Mongo Yori. This part is optional. Oh, we have that. The dashboard URL, like so. Cool. So we have a secret and we have a token here. Now, what is a secret? Well, a secret. What is a secret? So a secret, we're going to come into general information here. It's how we log in and handle logging in. Let's see what secret is. So, um... We can go on Discord, Discord Docs. We can go here. And we can find OAuth 2, I believe, if we want to get scientific. So client secret and client ID are connected in a way. So you need the secret to authorize users to log in. So what OAuth 2 does is allows you to get users and log in with it allows you to basically log in with discord as a user and an OAuth scope is what permissions the user authorizes you to do with their account so technically you give a piece of code access to their account <laughs> and these scopes limit what you can do so if I add bot that's how you add a bot to your server. If I have identify, that's how you get, that's how you know, that's how you get the user avatar, etc. Guilds, that's how you get the guilds. Um, we're going to use identify and guilds because we want both of them. We don't need any more. Bot is for joining. We'll also have that separately. But there we go. So, this is what we use. Uh, this is an, an example of what we redirect them to. So we have the secret, we have the code. This is what's going on behind the scenes. When we request a token, a code, sorry. When we request a code from Discord, 
which I'll show you. We're gonna use Disco Do Off. I was gonna Disco o Off, sorry. So Disco o Off dot TK. I was gonna use Disco uh, another package, but this one seems to be the simplest. It has a few errors here and there, but it does the job most of the time. Okay, what we do is we go into routes. And I made this folder, make a folder in dashboard called routes, and then add a file called root.js. Now, we don't need routes as a prefix. We could have that, actually. So, like, root routes, I guess, maybe. And then, we're going to have a file called off routes as well, which is going to be a separate collection of routes. So, what we do now is, we get these two routes here, paste them in root because they point to the root here, and now where it says app, we replace that control D router, or router, however you say it, so comes router equals express, now what is express, we need this, we're just going to copy this basically, um, router equals express, we can, we can do that, yeah, but we're going to use express.router instead of router. Now, router makes it like like a Wi-Fi router, so I'm going to use router. I don't know which one to use. So we're going to export router. So express.router is a more limited version of app. So if we look at router, we get get. We get some functions here and there that we are using. Now if we use app, we get a similar set of functions here, but not as many as router. Cool. So now, uh, not as, more than router, sorry. So app.use slash, and then pass in our middleware. Router's like a middleware. It collects all of these, in a way. And then we're gonna use root routes, and then Similarly, we're going to use off routes, or we can just type it like this, but we need to import both of them. So, remember the order always matters when it comes to routes. So, const root routes require, so we type dot routes, root routes, off routes, so like that. Cool, now we've imported the routes. So root routes are loaded before off routes. So if I had a, a route in routes, if if I had a route here, if I had this in here, it would overwrite this in off routes because it's called before. So slight distinction there. There we go. So let's copy a little template here. Another thing, we need to refactor this. Why? Because we changed the folder. There we go. So, router, export the router. Cool. So, we can define the routers in a minute. We're going to make another folder. Yes, another one. Where should we put this? I think I'm going to put it within the, this folder off client dot js now in off client what we do i'm going to copy this usage here hey, off client require disco o off obviously we don't have disco o off so we're going to install that so what we type is npm i save disco o off so o off client Okay, so in, in this folder, in this file, sorry. Okay, in this file, we're going to type module.exports equals client. I'm just going to export that. Okay, what what is the problem here? We don't know the app. We can hard code it in. We can type the ID. Not good. So what we do is we type config. We need to import the config. Config. Cool. Then now, what we can do is type config.bot. Oh, doesn't have an ID yet. 
So we tell ID eventually. We'll add that. config.bot.id. Uh, dot secret. Cool. Okay, so a distinction to make is there is no token when it comes to OAuth 2. There is no token when it comes to OAuth 2. Just remember that. Because the token's for logging in the bot, not logging in the user. So OAuth 2 is different from the bot, as you can see. Oh, also, in redirects, this is an important part, make sure we're going to add localhost 3000. Now I see this, I see every day someone has an, uh, an issue with this. So we're going to add HTTP. Yeah, we're going to add localhost 3000 slash off. Make sure this is typed correctly, no slashes on the end. Otherwise you will have issues. Has to be precise, like a password has to be... Everything has to be correct here, otherwise you will run into problems. So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the ID in config, paste that in, and then in readme, and paste that in here, cool. So, what now? So, client, this is off client, so we can type client, I prefer C makes more sense to me. So client, now we have some we have some methods here or functions and we can call, we can set redirect and now this happens to be required this is a required part, otherwise it doesn't work for me so set redirect and then we're going to set config dot dashboard url template strings dashboard like that so then client dot set scopes this takes an array which is or you can use identify and guilds as you saw and then export client. So this is to do with getting the code. This is correlated with getting the code, so that's why we need to do this part here. It's weird, but it's required for generating the code to log in the user. Okay, in off client, I meant for this to be slash off instead of slash dashboard. So make sure you set it slash off like that. Otherwise, You'd, you'll get this error where it will not authorize and it will say invalid request made. Our routes work correctly, let's check that. There we go, that's cool. So, we're going to end this part here because we don't want to add too much in one part. This is to help your understanding and my videos have been long recently, so... <laughs> in the next video, what we'll do is we'll add login, logging in. So see there.